Well, we survived night one of what we're calling the Knucopia road trip. Road trip. <laughs> we stayed the, the, the nights in in Battle Creek, Michigan. It's a lovely time. Yes. And Kevin was worried we'd get murdered, and I said, no, no, no. <laughs> and Andy, Andy got me helping him set up at the show. We're, we've arrived. We've arrived at the, uh, the Knucopia in Madison, Wisconsin. We're now creating a triangle, and we're going, wondering if a square was stronger or a triangle. And we're, re we're remembering grade 11 math. And I said, well, don't ask me. <laughs> he also, we're in a closed space, just tooted a little bit. What? You, just, you tooted, it wasn't me. I'm helping you for the goodness of my heart, and you toot, well, no, right, right beside me. There was someone opening a box over there. Yeah, right, okay. And then I just said, I hope that wasn't me. And uh, um, I just said, when you start selling barrels, and I'm over speaking, and if you're tooting and you lose barrel sales, that is not my fault. That's fair enough. But right now you're supposed to be helping me, right? Oh yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> I don't see your hands okay. on, Go on Gotta this. go. <laughs> well, welcome to another Outdoor Adventure Show, Canucopia, and welcome to the third snowstorm in two weeks from all the shows I've been going to. When is spring here? I love winter. I love winter, but not during a show while you're driving everywhere. Right. Actually, I haven't drove all day. Andy's driving, but I'm good. Right. Time to get to the hotel. Well, they're making fun of my camera once again. <laughs> Look at that. Cool Quest is here. Oh, your camera's so small. Hey, it's not the size of oh. it. It's how you use it. It's yeah. how it works. That is true. They're following me. I'm traveling around giving presentations. They're following me. And look who's following me again. Yay. I'm not following you. I just happen to be here to see Andy. Oh. oh it is all about Andy. Oh, it's always works. about Andy. I know. It is. It is. I, you know, Recreational barrel works. Seriously? Like, look at the barrels. Not and mine. the map cases. I agree. And, I agree. And, and, I, no, I'm, I'm looking at one of these new things that you put on the side of the barrel. I know. I got no, something more no, important. I got, forget the barrels, okay? Your wife is right beside yes. you. Your wife is right beside you. Yeah. I gotta ask you, how do you deal with him? Oh, it's a joy. <laughs> Chloroform. Chloroform. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You can't. You can't make it up. You can't buy entertainment yeah. like this. Nothing scripted. I've never scripted well, anything in my life. We are so happy to have met Andy in person. And you know what? I just, I just love him. He's just so sweet. He it's is. The, where did he go? He's just. I, maybe it's the hat. I don't know. I just. It's a charming he's demeanor. Yes. Or is that misdemeanor? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice to see you. Right. I know. And my camera's not small. <laughs> oh, what was that you said? I said. I know you be no, I know him because you were on his show. I only watch when you're on. Hey, how you doing, Kevin? Do you believe that? I come all the way down to Canucopia to see everybody else. <laughs> Saturday morning, Canucopia. My voice is getting a little bit better. <laughs> Maybe not after today. Uh, I got a lot of shows, uh, more, more presentations than I thought, actually, to be quite honest. So I'm in the Quetico room pretty much all, all day except for one hour. 10.30, Top 70 Canoers of Ontario. Uh, 11.30, Q&A with Cliff Jacobson. Uh, 12.30, Once Around Algonquin. 2.30, How to Be Happy Camper. Uh, 3.30, Playing with Jerry um, on stage with his band. And then at 4.30, uh, I'm emceeing the uh, Aluminum Chef Competition, which I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, so pretty much I got my lunch and snacks under the table. Shh. I got some prizes to give away under the table. Shh. I'm getting here early in the morning to make sure everything works. Oh, right, it's gonna be a good day, but a good day. This is what they do in the morning. They listen to podcasts. Podcasters listen Animal to podcasts. Stories podcasts, yeah, from Chicago in the 1970s, yeah. which most of you people like. when, when he looked up his. Uh, what is that? Arm to give this that is a camera. That's cool. I love it. No one, so... can, no one can figure out how to use that except for him. I love and, it. All right, I gotta go because they're listening to podcasts. Podcasters listen to podcasts. Can we camera for a second? Oh, no. Here we go. So, so this guy here has the most busy schedule that anybody's ever gonna see at a show. You got like you're on stage for like five hours today. I got one hour off, from ten thirty to five thirty. Wow! Yeah. And that's when I'm going to pee. And that's when you, you didn't bring your catheter. <laughs> this guy, no, seriously, he, he he's gonna be on stage like with Cliff Jacobson. You're doing uh, yeah, and my culinary. MC, yeah, the MC and the the cook off. Yeah, that, that's hilarious. Uh, I throw food at the audience. I'm not allowed to. I got in trouble. 
for him. Anything yeah. good? Because I can come up there for lunch. I yeah, 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 yeah. I get thrilled with some good stuff. And now we have to have a, a fire uh, um, thing. Uh, fire extinguisher. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I, I won't tell you why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, if you if you miss a canoe copia, make sure you watch all this video because he's gonna get some good stuff. So. There you go, Kevin. Yeah, my, and my voice is doing really well. Yeah, yeah I'm good. <laughs> We're now setting up for the Q and A with Kevin Callan and Cliff Jacobson. Let's just say, I gotta say now. Sorry, Cliff, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's Jerry. It's Jerry. Lining up for what are we lining up for? Aluminum, Aluminum chef. chef. Oh, I heard the MC is, is he's amazing. Yeah, he's an amazing person. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Best ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the best ever. Yeah, yeah listen amazing. to the man. He knows. Yeah, best ever. Yeah, <laughs> go Kevin. How's the show Kevin's so so far? Awesome. Good show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting to see Andy and Kevin together though. If he had time, he was going to go on stage with me, but he's busy. A, he's yeah. got to get a yeah. sub. And we really don't get along. It's a, it's a facade. It's a big facade. Yeah. So have you done the uh, the, the chef thing already? Uh, a uh, times. Over the years? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Maybe, and maybe 20 some, however many it's 20 been going 20, on. 28, 28. Really? Yeah. Have, have I thrown food at anybody here? No. Right. Well, you got in trouble, well, so you have to stop. Skin. I actually did get in trouble. <laughs> what are you waiting for? What's going on? The fire. Oh, shh. no, no, we can't talk about that. No, 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 we'll get shut down. No, no, there was no fire. There was no fire. I have no recollection of that. We're going in. We're, this is exciting. This is uh, the what is it? alumni? No, not alumni. The aluminum? No. The who the who? Are you cooking? No, they won't let me cook anymore. Yeah, I've downgraded the MC. <laughs> We're going in. It's exciting times. Oh, they're all set up. All right, look at this. Over there, yeah. One of the biggest parts of this event is the cook off. Here they are. <laughs> Last show of the day, it's 4 30. Uh, and this is the, the great cook off, and I'm the MC. And uh, it's probably one of the best parts of the whole day. So we throw food at each other and they cook and awesome. All right, this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. I'm signing books all day, but no, Mr. Baxter that's here th this year is going around signing my books. Signing my books. What did he sign? What did he say? I gotta find it first. He said, don't paddle with me. His advice was don't paddle with you. What? What? No, he didn't. Oh, he, oh, let's see this. Okay, that's wrong. That's just wrong. He actually he's a better paddler than I am. And actually a nicer person than I am. <laughs> he deserves everything he gets. Yeah. I'm about to paddle. Or I'm about to paddle. Oh, I'm so perturbed. I'm about to sign a carbon bench shaft. Uh -oh. It's know. like it's like a little bit of sacrifice. It's like talking to the devil. I know I'm good with that. I'm good. I'm not talking yeah. to the devil, but yeah. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna sign this. Paddle, have you, have you used it? I have used it. Okay, I'll sign it then. You used it, we'll sign it. So I have Marty. Marty's hey. one of the cooks. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna win for the first time in 18 years. Okay, good. Oh, table's coming in. Uh, why do they have fire extinguishers? Well, it's commonly referred to as the incident. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the stoves had a leak. They didn't put the, yeah. the, the, the screw the top on and I lost my flame and I bent down to see what was the flame and when I came back up it caught the gas on fire and a 15 foot high plume and the top of the table the gas was over and it was this undulating blue. It was beautiful. Just beautiful. Until? Until somebody said you're going to set off the sprinklers. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Highlight of my day. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm great. How yeah. are you? Yeah, you a little nervous or? 
You know, yeah, I think so. Uh, the, the best thing about the paddle sport uh, community is that they're very generous and very forgiving unless you ruin dinner. And uh, because we're about to do the cooking uh, competition, I have that weight right here on my chest right now, Kevin. And uh, I'm doing everything I can to work through it. You've got a good chest, though. So. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate All right, that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. Very important people around here. It's fantastic. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I couldn't go last year because some COVID thing. And you were the MC. I was. How'd it go? Uh, I think it went great. She yeah. killed it. I killed it. She killed I it. I am sometimes entertaining. You killed it. Yeah. You killed it. That's yeah. why no one came back. They're all dead. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good response. <laughs> she did an amazing job. She's an amazing person. Thank goodness. Not as good as I could have, but. Said like a true white man. Oh. oh. I like that. I like that. I've always actually liked her. I actually have. She's an amazing person, actually. Well, who are you? My name is Mona Gauthier. And you are my replacement. I am. And I just have to point out that my second year at, on the Aluminum Chef, I won. Something Kevin has never done. <laughs> I'm so glad you replaced me because she's a lot better than I am. <laughs> The only thing I have going for me really is my dehydrated food. So this year, my secret weapon is seafood tacos. And I'm going to make salsa. It will be mild and medium. So they'll be in separate cups along with some Spanish rice. And so people, if they have a more delicate palate, they can put on mild if they choose. Or if they like it a little sparkly, they can use the medium. And so my elegance in describing that dish is going to be at least comparable to mine. <laughs> I told you she's better than I am. <laughs> so I wouldn't be nervous right now at all for you. Yeah. Okay. I would Thank be. You. Yeah, I would be actually. Yeah. Yeah. You would be yeah. nervous. No, no, I wouldn't be. Yeah, no, no, you're wouldn't never be. nervous. You just, you just have that energy of a, a lot of things going on in your head that yeah. dances out through your arms and legs and your mouth and everywhere. Kevin, I need a favor from you, please. Yes. Would you uh, tie me up? <laughs> <laughs> First time I ever had him pause before making a smart remark. Huh? <laughs> Doing it both. Oh, you've got experience. Who here drinks wine? Anybody? Yes. Here you go, <laughs> She's lush right there. What else are you doing? Kitchen knife. Oh, a kitchen knife. I'm going to throw Alright, I have time now to wander around to see the booths. And I found this guy, Carl. Yeah, what, who are you? I'm Carl with Rockwood Lodge. What, so what? What's uh? What's what? Oh, I cannot talk. <laughs> <laughs> what lodge is it? Rockwood Lodge yeah. and Outfitters. We're on the Gunflint Trail, um, halfway to up the Gunflint Trail, uh, near Canada. Well, that it's got to be good then. It's got to be good. Yeah, we have uh, eight cabins and sixty canoes. A lot of outfitting. Yeah, cool. this is one of our canoes here. It's a North Star three-person canoe. Yeah, nice. Vinny the Bear. Gotta focus on Vinny oh, the Bear. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There, that's the mascot. Yeah, and he uh, resides in Rockwood Lodge. That's built in 1926. Nice. Yeah. Really One nice. Of the originals. That yeah, we're right there, right in the middle on Poplar Lake. We got easy entry in the Liz Lake, down in the Boundary Waters, Horseshoe, Gaskin, Care, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Like it there. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Original white pines. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yep. Is it a good show? We had a really good show here. Yeah. yeah. Canoe Copia 2023. Are you having a good day? I good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not talking you, anymore. Were you? You get done? Pre, just get yeah. done presenting? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. It's good. How'd you like? You only did one Q and A session, right? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Right. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for being the uh, MC. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Question for you guys. We, we have an American gentleman and a Canadian gentleman up there. Is it portage or portage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good question. The age old question. 
I, I'm going to say, all right, no, don't hit me. <laughs> it's portage because it's French. It's a French word. Basically, it was a, a moderator, I think it was called, right? Is that what you call it? MC? Something like that. I like yeah. MC, though. Like Nest. <laughs> but no, it's a moderator for Ketting for your and Cliff's Q&A session. And I like to call it the Great Debate. Here's the thing. It's portage. Why? Because it's Grand Portage, Minnesota. <laughs> but I have my heart's in Canada, you know that. So I'm happy to defer to my Canadian friends and say portage. It was a very entertaining um, experience for, uh, and, and educational as well for a lot of people. And, I, and a lot of people like those two, I could listen to them all day. We had a margarita last night at, at this restaurant. It was like a bowl of stock alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Oh yeah, is that a little mini camera? Yeah, what is that yeah. thing, Kevin? Uh oh. It's a camera. There goes the camera. Well, I've never seen anything I'm like that. I'm a secret agent. Whoa. I work for the FBI. But anyway, we had a lot of fun with it, and I hope everybody enjoyed it. Yeah. And it's always fun working with you too. Yeah. And your show, uh, you're still people. around, but your your name has changed. Yes, it's from the camping show. Now it is Outdoors People, and uh, we changed that at the beginning of the year. Yeah. We're doing some trips uh, this year to Duluth Pack in Minnesota, and uh, we're working on one for the uh, uh, French Riviera. Really? Mm -hmm. And um, there's another trip, but I can't think of what it is, but yeah, we've got several that are, are lined up already. So, yeah. Good. CW has that voice, that kind of voice. You know, uh, hi, I'm, I'm CW. Yeah, that's the way it is. See, there you <laughs> go. That was a little Walter. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you making out? I'm do I was doing great until people started coming up and saying, I'm supposed to give you a hard time. All sorts of crazy requests and, and will, will you sign my bare bottom, things like that. And I'm like, I don't think that's allowed, man. Then they would admit that they'd been put up to it by some nefarious fella. And but they wouldn't admit who, so I'm, I'm still I'm on the lookout. Who is this? Who could do such an evil thing? It was you? <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm shocked. Oh, yeah. Hey, what did you sell? What was the big seller? Everything. Yeah? Yeah, we're, it's been a fantastic show. Um, yeah, you're out of packs. Out of packs, out of, out of um, almost out of harnesses, in fact, and uh, um, lots of the accessories are have been sold out, um, so it's uh, it's been great. And uh, you know, this is a paddling crowd, so they know their their paddling gear mostly. You know, um, there's a few new folks that are you know asking good questions about this or that, but uh, you know, they've they've been appreciating it. So that's great. That's yeah. Great. And your map case has lasted what two hours? A half hour. It was like new world record of selling out uh, and there's people wanting to special order and all that sort of stuff so wow. anyway it's been it's been I've, I've just enjoyed chatting about paddling uh, you know with folks again and that's been a real treat 60 liter or 30 liter which ones went more hmm. I would think uh, more 60s Probably, um, you know, on a ratio of uh, three to one. Yeah? Yeah. But yeah. What about the organizers here, the, the buckets? Yeah. People love the, the, uh, the lidded buckets, um, a bit more than the open buckets. Uh, but they also love the, the coolers. And uh, we sold out of the, the small coolers. There's only a handful of the big coolers left, so... And yeah. the, the, the small one or the big one went? Um, well, I, I think um, we, we brought in less of the big ones, so... Um, and there's only a couple of those left. We brought in more of the, um, the smaller exterior pouches, but... Uh, but a good number of those have uh, found new homes too. So. Good for you, sir. And you're still standing. I know. Can I sit down now? <laughs> oh, look! I'm here at the show! <laughs> a lot younger, though, in that shot. 
Oh no. And look, look who we have here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm over there and I'm here. There's Jim Baird right there. Jim's not here. I'm just saying, Jim. That's you. Not here. I'm here. And I'm there. Just saying. Miss you. Miss you, Jim. I'm here with Steve uh, from uh, Novacraft and he's at Canoe Copia showing a bunch of canoes. So what's new? Hi. We got the brand new oh, Prospector look at that. 16 oh. Tough Stuff Special Edition. That's our Tough Stuff Clear, oh. 16 foot. Skip plates are included. All the way down there you see on the bottom we've got a new decal on the front, new decal in the middle, and a new decal on the back. We also have web seats. It's endorsed by Kevin, as you can see. Oh, look at that. That was a good trip. What's so special about this? This is not a new um, This was material. a material we brought out in place of Royal X about six, seven years ago. Um, it's a material extremely strong. So this is the tough stuff? This is tough stuff right here, and it's lighter than what the Royal X used to be. So we're having people seem to like that idea, the fact that it's a little bit lighter. It is a gel coat, so it's nice and shiny. It comes in other different colors over here. You can see the new blue. That's right here. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, look. look. And then there's also the Tough Stuff Clear. And we also have an orange down here, too. But we have other numerous colors. But the Tough Stuff is very user-friendly canoe to use. It's lightweight, very, very durable. Um, and it, the Prospector's an all-around canoe. It does everything. It's nice and wide, nice and deep, lots of gear. I'm sure you use it yourself. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our basically our newest addition this year, the Prospector. It's been around. It's proven itself for years. But this year we just tried to do it something different with the color on it. So um, clear coat. Basically the same weight. It's 56 pounds. So great canoe to take lots of gear. A couple of kids, a dog, whatever you want to do. So at the show, what was the uh, number one seller? Was it the Bob Special? Was it the Prospector? Uh, I would say the Prospector 16 and the Bob Special here, which you also have. Maybe yours. I know. I have a lot of canoes. Popular, and we have the Bob Special at the show in clear as well. So we can do that model in clear. We can do the PAL in clear. We've got air mid light. So basically we cover everything. We have fiberglass boats right through to our blue steel that's over there as well. Now, Airman Light is basically like Kevlar. It's just a different exactly. brand. Kevlar, just a different name to it. That's it right there, Airman Light. And a little bit lighter than what the tough stuff, but uh, if you want a light tripping boat, that would be your go-to boat. But all in all, this seems to be our most popular model right here, the Prospector. Tough stuff has been very popular. This is the boat, I, well, not this boat, but this is the type of boat I took around uh, Algonquin on the Minas Link. It survived, so thumbs up. How you doing, Mike? Good. Sucking it in. Keep it tight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're, you've always been a sexy beast to me, Mike. Thanks, so, yeah. yeah. So what's new? What's new with Badger? Um, these Forest Edition paddles are what's new with Badger. They're cool, actually. I don't know if I haven't even talked to you about them yet. But so Forest Edition, when you when we are working with a company called One Tree Planet, every time an organization, not a company, every time we sell one of these paddles, a tree gets planted. So I. Um, basically, when I have a really, really premium piece of walnut or cherry, something that speaks to me and it's like, this is, this is nice, it needs some special attention, we do this forest edition. So, there's actually a certificate, that's a certificate number for this paddle, which is the tree that gets planted when you buy this paddle. So this is a walnut tripper, and so the paddle at the bottom is a tripper shape. And that's the that's the silhouette of a walnut tree. So, like here is a sassafras sliver, forest edition. So, sliver, and that's a sassafras tree. So, the the engraving matches the the blade and the species of the tree, and it's always on a really nice piece of piece of wood. He uses wood and then replants. You're a lovely man. <laughs> Fantastic. We love you to bits. Here we have. That's not deliverance, is it? <laughs> How was the show, Darren? Oh. Is that making my head look huge? No, no, okay. no, not at all. <laughs> Extreme close-up. Ah, um, it was great. Yeah, it was yeah, great. And good. thanks to you and a couple thousand other people. Yeah, so. that's good. Yeah, yeah, uh, and uh, it was good to have everybody back and. Yeah, we're back at, at pre-pandemic levels now. Yeah, yeah. That feels good. 
All right, who are you? I'm Graham. We're at uh, the Agua here, where we make the folding bow saw in a 15, a 21, and a 24 inch version. I'll uh, show you how it works. So this is ready to go. To take it down, just release this pivot, swing it around, stores in the top frame, and then locks up. And then same thing to get it going, swing it around, this notch, wraps around the edge of the handle and then crank it to add tension and you're ready to go. Amazing saws. My uh, buddy uh, Andrew, uh, Andrew, Andy, I am burnt out. You burnt out? Oh yeah. <laughs> you can tell us the end of the show. Uh, Andy, he's got your saws we, we, we use in the bush and uh, love them. And, and you guys started just a few years ago, didn't you? Yeah, we started about nine years ago. And uh, this show, uh, Canoe Copia, was the first one we went to. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And it was a good yeah. show for you? Yeah, it was a great show. You got access to? It's something we're working on, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'll show you. So we got a 14 inch hatchet uh, with a profile designed to do really uh, fine work around the fire, uh, making uh, feather, feather sticks, limbing, things like that. And then when you need to do some splitting, you can add this extension, turn it into a 26 inch forest axe. That's good. Yeah. So why has anybody done that before? It's really difficult. To, uh, to get the joint right, uh, get the ergonomics right. And uh, yeah, we've been working on this for almost four years, but it's, it's ready to go. We'll be launching later in the year. That's fantastic. Yeah. Are you bothering this man? Uh, no, we've been busted again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're keeping him company. Yeah, he's, he's his, exhausted. His, Look real, at him. his real buddy abandoned him. Like, That's true. Right? <laughs> I, gave him. I wish I had a real buddy. <laughs> Oh man, what a show, dude! Yeah, it was good. You're, you're a machine. Yeah, you're a machine. Yeah, see, see me tomorrow. Yeah. See if you see the machine. <laughs> we we come over and offer to Andy a back rub and a foot rub, and he took us up on it. And so we had we had to take a couple steps back. Right? You know I feel a hundred times better now. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, oh good. You might want to put your pants back up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kunukopi is over. We're heading home. We're heading home. And we're in Chicago traffic, so it'll be a long time before we get home. Just saying. <laughs> I still have no voice. Andy still has an attitude. Yeah. It was good. It was a good show. That's all I got to say. We're exhausted. I uh, sold all my books. I had a lot of people come out to my shows. I met a lot of good friends after not seeing them for, th for three years because of the pandemic. And um, yeah, it was really good to be, to be back actually. It's all kind of a blur uh, to actually uh, have that happen. It's like all of a sudden, wow, uh, I haven't seen you for so long. So it was really good. A lot of good friends here in the United States, a lot of great paddlers, good paddling community uh, in Madison. And um, I can't believe that Andy and I are still talking to each other. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna stop for coffee soon, Kevin, and uh, I'll hold your billfold while uh, <laughs> while you go get us. Okay. He's got me back. So after one of my presentations, actually after every presentation, I said, "Could you do me a favor?" And I'm talking like hundreds of people. I go, "Do me a favor. Could you go over to Andy's booth at Red Racial Barrel Works and harass him?" <laughs> and so they did. I never, I, no, I never thought they would, Andy. I really thought that, that they would just think I was joking. Yeah, so, uh, so he has this idea uh, in, his, in his head that we'll stop off for coffee, and while I'm going in to get coffee, I'll come back out and the car will be gone. <laughs> He'll leave me alone in the United States of America to fend for myself. There's no time you fended for yourself. <laughs> anyway, awesome, awesome show. And uh, got an, another one coming up, Backcountry, Ontario Backcountry Symposium in Kitchener, Waterloo. And uh, hopefully I'll have my voice back by then. Awesome.